click this button here. Take off. Well, first of all, VR is a new technology, right? I mean, there are a lot of uh, new development that uh, uh, we only have very limited, uh, you know, class teaching time and the resources uh, devote to that. Uh, so I think having this student org and student can, you know, create their own project and uh, have a community. So the VR club, the idea is we're trying to um, get people exposure to virtual reality technologies. So it's it's difficult for students to access given the associated expense with it and then also sometimes potentially high barrier to entry from a technical standpoint especially when it comes to actually developing applications. I didn't do any programming within VR until I had gotten into the VR class and then into the um, VR club. Before it was just a fun party game thing. You pull it out, all your friends are around, you play Beat Saber. The first exposure through the class, uh, more in serious, uh, you know, uh, not just uh, like a playing of VR, rather develop for it. The class is always filled. This every semester we have uh, relatively limited seats because of the hardware. We need a certain um, type of computers and the headset associated with that. MAVR has club hardware available for students to use gaming laptops that are capable of running VR and VR equipment various VR headsets and also some VR games that people can try out. So we're happy to let students use those whether they want to play games or develop, develop projects with those. It's really been nice to have the opportunity to use equipment that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get my hands on alone. So the university really gives great opportunity for students who can't use that equipment who don't have access to it.